The province is ordering four of Alberta's universities to pause new partnerships that could be linked to China or its ruling party. The government says it's concerned about theft of Canadian intellectual property and it wants the schools to review all of its current relationships with Chinese entities. Jordan Canigan joins us from the University of Calgary tonight. And Jordan, this review comes at the request of the Advanced Education Minister. That's right, Tara, and there isn't a whole lot of time for that investigation to happen. The province giving those four universities 90 days to review those relationships that could be linked to China, especially when it comes to research projects. Now, in a statement from Alberta's advanced education minister, he says, quote, I am deeply concerned about the potential theft of Canadian intellectual property and further concern that research partnerships with the People's Republic of China may be used by Chinese military and and intelligence agencies. Minister Dimitrio Nikolaitis also saying more needs to be done to prevent foreign entities from infiltrating research and innovation centers here. Now, the letter was sent to the universities of Calgary, Alberta and Lethbridge, also Athabasca University. Alberta also calling on the federal government to develop a framework to handle these partnerships better. Experts on China and its foreign relations say Albertans have a right to know if schools or its researchers are receiving funding from China. We don't want to see the government of Alberta subsidizing institutions which are engaged in transferring technologies that could be used in a hostile way against Canada. Recently, there's been a lot of um, exposure of some of the risks that Canadian university researchers are in when they partner with China. Now, there hasn't been a response from China's foreign ministry at this point, but those experts you just heard from say there could be retaliation in the form of China barring its students from attending those universities here. Of course, that would cost the schools here millions of dollars in lost tuition. Now, those universities in a statement acknowledging that they received the letter, but saying they have no further comments at this time. Tara? Okay, Jordan, thank you.